This shot of New York City establishes that we're about to watch a very long commercial about f***ing Tide Pods. Real talk, fellas, when you're a sorcerer, does turning the page of a book like this actually save you any time or make anything easier whatsoever? You're doing the same motion. Holding any kind of food up like this while reading. Get a f***ing paper plate, Wong. Or do a magic spell where you're just holding your hand up like an asshole while this tuna melt floats in midair. I don't get the premise of this commercial. Is Doctor Strange's cloak trying to look over Wong's shoulder to read an ancient book of spells, or does it want the tuna melt? I'd advise you to answer this carefully, because the answer should be neither. But the commercial is insisting that one of them is true. The title for this commercial is Cloak vs. Tuna Melt, and if anything, the tuna melt definitely won this encounter. The cloak does not partake in any sort of fight with the tuna melt. There are 52 seconds to go in this commercial, and this battle has already been decided! There will be no further hostilities between the two. I am goddamn disappoint! Let's get you clean before Strange comes back. Wong, as the last couple of movies have stressed, you are the Sorcerer Supreme, who gives a flying f what Strange will do if he sees Tuna Melt on his cloak when he gets back. This isn't risky business. Is I? I don't blame this f head cloak for not wanting to get thrown into the washer, especially when you live in a holy f temple of magic. Given the cloak's unpredictable flight, how does Wong know where to open up a portal to head it off at the pass? Tide Pods are three in one. It's a detergent, a stain remover, and a color protector. But I wish this ad would be upfront about being three in one as well. It's a Tide commercial, it's a Doctor Strange commercial, and it's also a commercial for Joe's Pizza Parlor. It's not often you have product placement inside an advertisement, but here we are. Also, the cloak crashes into a pizza truck and this kid stares agape while his father, is that his father? Don't know. Anyway, the tall guy standing next to the kid appears to be a mannequin holding a once bitten pizza slice. His head turns in this shot, but I swear to God it's someone moving the head weekend at Bernie style because I've never seen anyone stand so perfectly rigid for this long. Someone get this man Kim Cattrall stat and tell Andrew McCarthy to get the hell out of here. Busted. Nobody asked you, kid. But also, Wong doesn't even offer the pizza truck some money for damages. After all, getting this cloak clean for Doctor Strange is the most important thing. No? Nope. Alright, I got you, buddy. Where the f*** is Wong reaching to get the Tide Pods? Is he shoplifting? Does he frequently steal stuff out of stores using portals like Sonic the Hedgehog does? Also, I'm no cloak. But I don't understand why a cloak would prefer Tide Pods over regular detergent. You're still going to get thrown around in a washer and all during the spin cycle you're going to wonder why you're unloved. So there shouldn't be a preference. Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, only in theaters May 6th. I hope they paid this voiceover guy overtime just to say that. You owe me a tuna melt. You still had some tuna melt left over, right? Or is this movie saying that all of the tuna got ejected from this bread pocket during the accident? Because if that's the case, you were eating a terrible tuna melt in the first place and the cloak did you a f***ing favor. Dagger is his polar opposite. She can create daggers of light with powers we don't fully understand. Remember to also check out Cinema Sense, where we send movies, and TV Sense, where we send TV. Also subscribe to Commercial Sense. Click the bell, like this video, slap your mama's ass. Oh, and check out CinemaSense.com, which has all our videos in easy genre categories and links to our store where you can buy our sweet, sweet merch that we guarantee you will love. Guaranteed void in Tennessee. <laughs>